Hi again. Today I want to share with you how I make my foaming hand soap. In my house we love the foaming hand soaps. Um, my husband in particular enjoys the one that comes from the store in the mall because they smell so great. But I happened to go and look up the ingredients and half of it I can't even pronounce. The first ingredient, and they are listed in the order that has the greatest amount to the least, the first ingredient is water. After that is ammonium lauryl sulfate and then fragrance. Okay, so they add an artificial smell to this. It then goes on with oleth 10 disodium laureth sulfur something and basically goes on and on down toward the bottom we get aloe leaf juice citric acid a few more things I can't pronounce okay so I would prefer to have <clears throat> ingredients that I can pronounce and recognize so I'm going to show you how I can make my own and replace this one okay and you can do this with any of the oils I'm just going to today I'm going to do orange because I am going to be switching bottles on him but I also use thieves and as you can see this one's empty so I'm going to be making more thieves I could buy a refill from Young Living but it's just as easy to make my own so I'm going to go through the steps and you're going to see it's quite easy to do. There's only five ingredients. All right, so first of all, you're going to need a plastic bottle. Whether you reuse one like this or you get them off of the internet, they need to be PET plastic. I would be concerned using this bottle to put a new one in because as I've talked about before, essential oils will dissolve regular plastic. So the PET plastic can withstand the oils. So I bought some online. Okay, it's got the dispenser there and this is what I'm going to use and then I'll put a label on it when I'm done. So with this, I'm then going to be using Castile soap which you can again buy on the internet or at a lot of the uh, big box stores. Castile soap is an excellent soap. It's very clean. It's safe to use for so many things. Then in addition to that, I am going to be putting in aloe vera. I don't have the leaf juice. I'm using gel. You can use either, but it's easier for me to find the gel and it works just as well. Then, in addition to that, you're going to put in a carrier oil just because it helps condition the skin. You could use jojoba or you could use vitamin E. Both of them nourish the skin and help replenish the hydration. I've chosen to use vitamin E and I have bought this online and then you also are going to use an essential oil. So when I make up more of this, I am going to use my thieves. But for this demonstration, I'm going to be using orange. Okay, nice clean scent. The last ingredient, of course, will be distilled water. And there is mostly going to be water. But that's the last one you add to the soap. So it's very, very easy to do. The first thing I'm going to do in here is I am going to add two to three tablespoons of Castile soap. So I've got my trusty cup here. I'm going to add the soap. It ha does have a pour spout, but from, for the amount that I'm pouring out, it's just easier to do it this way. So two to three tablespoons. And it, this is what helps it foam. So I'm going with three because my husband loves building up a nice foamy lather with the soap. So I've got that. I'm going to add it here. 
If I were concerned, I'd use a funnel, but I think I can handle doing this without spilling it too much. So first I do add that to my bottle. Very simple. After that, I am adding two tablespoons of the aloe vera. So I've got that, and this is very thick. And if you have an aloe plant and you break off the leaf, you know how thick the gel is. So I'm going to squeeze it out. And if it's not exactly, if it goes over two tablespoons a little, I don't see a problem with that because aloe vera is also very good for hydrating the skin. So there, I've got that. Now, since this is so thick, what I'm going to do is I am going to use my funnel. I'm going to add this, just like that. And I'm going to tap it to go in. that. You can see it looks kind of funky right now, but that's okay. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of my vitamin E. And yes, I can use the same measuring cup because all of these ingredients are going into the same thing. And even though I'm going to make another one, it's going to be the same ingredients until I get to the oil. So I add that. Okay, just like that. Now, with the essential oil, you can add 12 to 15 drops. If this is the first time you're doing it, you might want to start with 12. You can always go and add another drop or two, or you could even go a little over 15, depending how strong you want the scent. So I know I want it nice and strong. I'm going to add 15 drops. Now, with some of the other oils, they have a very strong scent. I won't necessarily add as much. If I were, say, using joy or geranium, those are very, very strong scents. I might go with less because I'm still going to get a good strong scent. So I've got all of this in here and I'm mixing it just a little bit there. Okay, and I don't know if you can tell it actually is already starting to foam up there. So now I do need to add my distilled water. I'm topping it off with the distilled water. So I've got this in here. This carefully. Okay. A little bit more here. Now, I don't know if you can see that. There is a layer of foam on the top. It's not a clear soap because of all the different ingredients in it. I am going to add a little more water. Do this. Hopefully I don't make a mess here. There we go. Oh, I dripped only a little of the water. That's not bad for me. So that is all it takes to make the soap. I add the cap. It is sudsing over, that's okay. It's that layer of suds, and it definitely smells orangey. Let me wipe my hands. I'll rinse them later. Anyway, I'll put a nice label on here so he knows that this is the orange scent. And it will do a great job. It will do as good a job as this. It doesn't have all the things I can't pronounce. It's not as orangey looking, but you know what? That's okay. It's got the scent. It's a natural one. It's natural. It's not artificial fragrance. Now, because I did not add any emulsifiers, if this just sits, the oil will separate and go to the top. So when you use it, you just give it a little shake like that, 
it mixes it back together and it's ready to use. That's as easy as can be. It's actually in the long run cheaper. Orange is not one of the more expensive. Now if I were to use Joy or Rose, yes, I'd be spending more money on the oil, but how often do you actually do that? So it's, it's a trade-off. But I like the fact I know what's in here. It's all natural. It does as good a job without all those words I can't pronounce. And I'm already done with that one. I'll be going on and making my thieves the exact same recipe, the same ingredients, just switching the thieves oil and the orange oil. And again, I'll probably use 15 drops because of the fact that with thieves, I know that is a good cleansing oil. That's what I use in my hand sanitizer. I use it in all sorts of cleaning. So I will probably go to 15 with that. And then, as I said, I might be making some more today just because I've got all my ingredients out. I certainly hope you've gotten something from this. And if you want more information, if you need to know how to acquire the ingredients, if you're interested in getting some of the Young Living oils, reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.